So here's a quick question from Terrence Coleman. He says, uh, hey Adam, I have the exact model shown in this video. When I close the door, the chain has an excessive amount of slack. Is it supposed to have slack? If not, how do I adjust it? It's 18 months old. Well, let's take a look at this one here. I apologize if there's a lot of echo. It's kind of hard to film in a garage. Looking down from this view, you can see it does have a bow in it. Now some bow is okay because it's just gravity. It's going to happen. You don't want this chain totally straight. It's not like a bicycle. Um, you need some slack in it. Otherwise, you're going to cause damage that I'll show you in a minute. So don't tighten this too far. But if you're opening and closing your garage door and you're hearing this, that's just too much noise. You know it's hitting this and that's not good. So we're going to take the slack out of here. Just enough so that it doesn't hit this. You now just lift it up a little bit. So to do that, let me uh, mount the camera. So looking here, you can see both ends of the chain. And what we want to do is pull them closer together so it tightens up the chain. To do that, I'm going to have to release this bolt here. And that's going to give it some room when we tighten the other one. Okay, not too much. Again, you want a bit of slack. So now if I tighten this bolt, it's going to pull or this nut, sorry, it's going to pull this bolt further this way and tighten the chain. So looking down the chain, that looks good. You want some sag in it, you just don't want it hitting and making noise. Now that it's where we want it, we can tighten it here on this side. I'm using the other wrench just to keep it from moving. And that is it. This is done. Now keep an eye on it and if it sags some more you can tighten it again. It's best to under tighten it and just kind of keep an eye on it and tighten it as needed because if you go too much uh, it will snap off this. Let me show you. Take this cover off. You can see the chain is attached to this gear and if you happen to pull it too tight you'll snap the whole thing off and then you have to buy a whole new shaft and everything in there and that's just not fun to replace. So just be cautious when you do it and uh, you know tighten it a little bit at a time as needed until it's where you want it. So anyway I hope that helps uh, Terrence. Good luck on your fix. If anybody else has questions go ahead and uh, send me a message and I'll do my best to answer you guys. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.